Thursday, everyone, Moonbeam's being too cute today. Hey, buddy. He slept outside all night. I just yelled at him, and he came from sleeping under the bush. One of his favorite spots, and his second favorite spot is in these bushes. He loves to take a nap. I love this cop. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Happy almost Friday. It's Friday, Junior. Just one more day. You got this. Whatever life throws at you, whatever work throws at you, whatever people throw at you, you got this. And it's going to be okay because you have gotten through every week. You're almost to Friday and then it's the weekend. And then you can take care of what you need to take care of with yourself, your family, your home, your loved ones, your work that you need to do for you. Don't forget to take care of yourself because you have to love yourself first so that you're able to love and take care of others. So even if you're a mom and you sacrifice all the time, that's great and good for you and you're supposed to sacrifice for your kids, but you also need to take the time to take care of yourself. Don't deplete your energy completely and just know that no matter what happens, it's gonna be okay. And it's gonna be a great day because every day that ends in day is a day that you got to wake up you got another chance to do something different or do something right. You got another chance to tell somebody that you love them, that you care about them. You got another chance to remind someone um, that you're here for them. And even if they don't want you to be here for them or even if they act like they don't want you to be here for them. I live with my daddy, 78. And the more recently, because I guess whatever news he has on medically that he doesn't want to tell me, um, or whatever he's going through that he doesn't want to tell me when I ask him how he is. He says, I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm doing something. Like, he's always, he doesn't want to address or say how he's doing. And he avoids the question very defensively and angrily. So, I know he's going through it. And I've told him I love him. He knows I'm here. He talks about how I take too much care of the cats. Sometimes he's like, well, you're just gone all day when I'm working. So he's, huh, he like judges me for not being here on occasion. Yet when I'm here asking for his help, he doesn't want me here. So I'm doing my best and I'm just going to be a good son regardless of what he does. Because I love him and he's half the reason I'm here. We owe our parents our lives no matter how good or bad they were, which overall dad took care of my mom when she passed away of cancer dad took care of my sister when she passed away of cancer dad took care of his mom before she passed away and dad has been living in the house with me and he took care of the three most important ladies in my life in his life so it's i i owe him to be here and be a good son and be here if he needs me he hasn't needed me except a few times in emergency situations and i hope no more emergency situations but i'm here if they come up god has prepared me for them mentally physically emotionally i'm not scared anymore i used to be scared because my dad's 78 he has the health issues anything could happen i mean you know anything i could wake up one morning go to say hi to him and him not wake up and i'm not thinking about that but i'm definitely like already somewhat in the background mentally prepared because I've lost my sister I've lost my mother so I'm prepared like will it be easy no but I'm not scared of it because what's out of my control I can't control I've given dad to God dad prays to God every day listens to news about Israel every day he bible studies every day he researches he is in part of the Israelic bible study and goes deep diving the bible gives this commentary he does a lot and I'm grateful that he's my dad and I'm grateful that he taught me and my mom taught me to follow God because without that, I might not be alive today. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I love you so much. This got a little deep for a vlog, but God loves you more. Have a great day.